así. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. A second ago there were two of us, now it's me alone. Anyway, let's talk about hockey. Let's talk about players and precisely about the best players of their teams. Let's talk about the MVPs. Of course, the Hart Trophy is awarded every year for the MVP of the league. I came up with a list for a Hart Trophy winner for every team. And of course, I have to wear my Oilers Conor McDavid as I'll be dead sure that he will win the Hart Trophy for the 2021 season. He is at a pace to reach 100 points, more than 100 points, in 56 games. This is absolutely incredible. This is the best pace since the prime of a guy named Mario Lemieux back in the 90s. Yep, McDavid will win the Hart Trophy. But for the other teams, let's have a look what I came up with. And I also don't want to mention who I think is the team's MVP this season. I also like to do some speculation. Who will be this team's MVP in five years? So, MVP now, MVP in five years. Let's have a look and of course feel free to correct me in the comment section below. Let's start right off with, uh, as I'm doing this by division again, with the Central Division. So the Central Division starts with the Chicago Blackhawks, whose MVP this year was clearly Patrick Kane. Fantastic effort. He is carrying this team almost on his own. And I think in five years, there's the guy named Alex Debrinkit, who should be this the MVP then. Detroit. They are doing good in their rebuild. And the MVP this year, in my opinion, was Philip Ronick. Maybe in five years, a guy who is not playing for them right now, but I'm sure it will be next year, Moritz Seider. We'll see. Dallas. Yeah, it's Miro Heiskinen. Who else? And I think he will be the MVP in five years' time still. Florida. Jonathan Uberdo. Clearly. Most points. Barkov is very good as well. Undecided between him and Barkov, but I picked Uberdo. And I think this will not change in five years' time. Tampa Bay. Of course, Victor Hedman. He's the best D-man in the league. He will win the Norris Trophy this year. I am very sure about that. In five years, I think Braden Point. Carolina. Yeah, Sebastian Aho. Svechnikov is a spectacular player. Their goalies have been fantastic. And uh, Brad Pesci and uh, Jakub Slavin were fantastic on the blue line, but it's Aho. And this will not change in five years. Nashville. UC Soros. Clearly, absolutely clearly, outplaying Pekarine, and yeah, I think this will also not change in five years because he's a fantastic goaltender. And Columbus, yeah, hard decision. In the end, it's still uh, Seth Jones. In five years, nope, not anymore. Maybe a guy like Emil Bamstrom comes up and gets the uh, the share of Columbus. I don't know. We'll see. East Division. Boston. No, it's not Bergeron. It's Marchand. Consistent point producer. Fantastic player. And his agitated thing is good as well. In five years, David Pasternak, of course. He's already the team's best goal scorer, but Marchand is the best all-around player. Rangers. Artemi Panarin. This was the big difference for the Rangers this year when Panarin was out for personal reasons and I think he will still be the team's MVP in five years. Islanders, one of the hardest picks and you cannot pick one player, you have to pick two. It's uh, Pollock and Pelek. Maybe in five years Matt Barzell will be the MVP for the Islanders but now it's the, the, D, the D pair. The D pair. New Jersey. Mackenzie Blackwood. Rebuilding team with a goaltender as a very good base and this will stay. Washington. Alexander Ovechkin, of course, who else? 
not in five years, then I think maybe a guy like Anthony Menta, who they picked up at the trade deadline from Detroit, can uh, become the team's MVP, but it's still Ovi. Buffalo. No, not Jack Eichel, as he was out almost for the complete season. I think this year, Sam Reinhardt was the MVP for the Sabres. In five years, I think former first overall pick Rasmus Darlene should come at his own and win the this trophy for Buffalo. We'll see. Philadelphia. Also hard to pick one. I picked Sean Couturier. Maybe in five years, Carter Hart will have the consistency. He is already a good goaltender, but uh, something is still missing. I think he will pick it up in five years. And Pittsburgh. Yeah, Sydney. Who else? He may not be my favorite player, but uh, he deserves a lot of respect for what he's doing and he's still the team's MVP. In five years, I think he will not, because I think then he will be 38 and nah, maybe John Marino. We'll see. And I'm John Gibson. He didn't have a very good year, but he is in parts still showing what goaltender he can be, that he can be Vesna level with some defense in front of him. That's why in, uh, I think in five years a guy like uh, Jamie Drysdale could become their MVP. Maybe it's, maybe it's Trevor Zegras, but I think definitely one of these two. LA. What's LA without Anse Kopitar? Nothing. Drew Doughty is a good player, but Kopitar is the MVP. That's set in stone for this year, for next year, maybe the year after as well. And then I think maybe a guy like Quinton Byfield can take this over. San Jose, also hard because they are not having a good season. I will surely not pick uh, uh, Eric Carlson because I think his contract is what will keep the Sharks down for, uh, for, for the foreseeable future. I think the MVP is Logan Couture. And maybe in five years it can become Timo Meyer or Kevin LeBanc. We'll see. Arizona. Yeah, Connor Garland. Should be Clayton Keller based on his contract, but it is at the moment Connor Garland, and I don't think this will change. Vegas. Mark Stone. Should win the circuit this year, is definitely Vegas's MVP. Maybe in five years Alex Tuck can do this. We'll see. St. Louis. Yeah, it's Ryan O'Reilly. When he feels it, uh, I not that long ago I saw a game against Colorado where they were down 2 nothing, and then O'Reilly took the team on his back and they went to win this game. It was only because of Ryan O'Reilly. Maybe a guy like Jordan Cairo can be his successor. Let's have a look. Colorado. Yeah, Nathan McKinnon. Second best player in the league and he will stay Colorado's MVP for the foreseeable future. Minnesota, Kirill Kaprizov, yeah, definitely. He will win the call of this year. Also, some Dallas fans may have another name they can throw in, Jason Robertson, but it will be Kaprizov. And he will be the Wilds' best player for the foreseeable future. And finally, Canadian division. Yeah, I already mentioned Conor McDavid. Not only the Oilers MVP, also the league's MVP, and he will stay that for the next five years, maybe 10 years. Let's see if he gets his share of injuries. If not, he is unbeatable. Toronto. No, it's not Austin Matthews, it's Mitch Marner. Set up men. When he played with uh, Tavares for the 2018-2019 season, he set him up for almost 50 goals. Tavares is good, but without Marner, he wouldn't have got that. See last year, see this year. And Mitch Marner will stay the team's MVP. Vancouver. Bo Horvat, their captain, who is a, a leader on the ice and off the ice, fantastic player, absolutely love him. Maybe Elias Pettersson will take his share as the team's MVP soon, but right now it's Bo Horvat. Montreal, hard to pick an MVP now. I think it's Jeff Petrie. With uh, Carey Price on the injured list almost half of the season, and he did not play as well when he was there. Yeah, Petrie. In five years, I definitely see Nick Suzuki as the team's MVP. Calgary, Matthew Kachuk. 
he will stay. I think Goudreau and Monaghan might go, Kachak will stay and become what he, uh, stay what he is, the heart and the soul of the Flames. Ottawa, another Kachak, his brother, Brady, best player this year, with the, all the talent Ottawa has coming in, like Josh Norris and uh, Thomas Shabbat, of course. I think maybe in five years, Tim Stutzle, if he comes on his own, could be the team's MVP. And finally, Winnipeg. Yeah, also hot call, but I think still it's Mark Shifley. Maybe in five years, when he, or maybe even next year, when he gets adapted to the team fully, Pierre-Luc Dubois can become the MVP, but now it's Shifley. And that's it for this one. Quick one, 31 teams, 31 Hart Trophy winners. Let me know in the comment section below who you think is the Hart Trophy winner for every team or just for the league. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.